with arguably their toughest part of the ACC schedule behind them, the Seminoles have used that stretch to grow as a team. What has happened is that now we have a little better understanding of what to expect in the ACC. So from that standpoint, obviously uh, the guys have gained some experience. And, and, and I feel that we have a little bit better understanding of who we are and how we have to play in order for us to be successful. After two straight wins at home, the Seminoles take their three-game win streak on the road to Wake Forest. They're a great transition team, multiple ball handlers, uh, uh, good post players. We got to make sure we come out with energy because even though they're, they're at the bottom of the uh, rank, uh, the standings, they're still a great team. Every, great, every ACC team is a great team. So. You gotta make sure you come out with energy, especially since they're gonna be at home. The trip will have a little more significance for senior Monte Brandon, as it will mark the last time he will play in his hometown area. It was definitely a special moment. It'll be even better if we, get, if we get the win, so definitely going out there with the right focus and going there trying to win, especially in front of my fr friends and family. Game tips off at 12 noon on Saturday. Reporting for Seminoles.com, I'm Jonathan Schlacey.